Let's now have a look at our battery cell production process that we've modeled here in PlantSim in more detail. So starting from the slurry mixing area where we have the slurry created for both the anode and the cathode, that slurry mixture is going to be applied to the foil in each case. You can see of course we've got separate production lines for the anode and the cathode as we need to avoid any contamination between the two. Uh, we're then moving on to a temperature and humidity controlled environment where we're going to go through the calendaring process where uh, we're forming the rolls and then compressing them to give the coating material a uniform thickness and density. Then on to the slitting portion of the process where these rolls are cut into uh, a number of smaller rolls. We then go through a drying process and then on to notching where both uh, the anode and the cathode materials are cut to the size of the cells that we're going to be manufacturing. From here we move on to another temperature and humidity controlled room where we're going to uh, have the stacking process. So we're going to stack multiple layers of the anode, the separator and the cathode on top of each other here. Uh, from there we're going to go through um, a quality check and then on to an assembly area where we're adding the spacers, we're uh, adding um, the cells to their cases, we're filling them with the electrolyte and then we're sealing up the cases and then from there we're moving on to the very critical portion of the process around battery uh, formation and aging.